Hey everyone, my name's Terry Allen. I'm the campus pastor for Church on Fire in Batesville. And I'm really glad to be with you today as we wrap up our soap series for the book of John. We're gonna be in chapter 21 today. But I just wanna tell you before we get into it that you can go back and watch all these videos again. We're not going to be taking them down. They're on our website, they're on our social media platforms. And I would encourage you to go through them again. Keep using this format, this SOAP format, scripture, observation, application, and prayer. Use it as a journaling mechanism for you so that you can go through these scriptures, you can gain new insight, and you can learn to apply it to your life. I'm using it every day, I'm loving it, and I'm going to continue to use it, moving into different books of the Bible and what have you. So I encourage you to do the same. But as we jump in today into chapter 21, um, just before that in chapter 20, as we heard yesterday, uh, this, is a, this is a part of the, of the uh, book where Jesus visits his disciples and they see him for the first time after the resurrection and he proved himself to Thomas, let Thomas see his hands, but then Jesus is gone again. And I, at the beginning of 21, these guys decide to go fishing. I think they're like, Oh my gosh, what else do we do? Our rabbi is gone. We don't know what else to do with ourselves. You know what? I'm going fishing. I'm going back to my trade. I'm getting back to doing the things that I know to do because my master's gone. So they're out fishing and it's becoming early in the morning and this guy's standing on shore and he, re he yells out to him, hey, have you guys caught anything? And they're like, no, nothing. And he says, hey, drop your net on the other side. And at that point when they were doing it, John realizes, hey, that's Jesus. And Peter's like, oh my gosh. And he, and he puts his cloak on and, and he doesn't even wait because they're about 100 yards out. He doesn't even wait for the boat to go in. He jumps in the water, swims in, meets up with Jesus, embraces him. And these guys go and have breakfast together. Now let's just remember for a moment that this is the guy, Peter, who just a couple chapters ago denied Christ three times. Just as Jesus foretold. And Peter didn't believe that it would happen, but when that uh, rooster crowed, oh my gosh, the pain, the anguish that Peter felt, the uh, betrayal that he felt that he did to Jesus. This is the thing he's carrying. But now here's Jesus coming back to them again and they go in and they sit down and they're gonna have bre breakfast together. And so in verse 15 of John chapter 21, it says this, and when they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said, you know that I do. And Jesus said, feed my lambs. Again, Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And he answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, then take care of my sheep. And the third time, he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because Jesus asked him a third time. If you could imagine him being hurt by this. He says, do you love me? And he said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. And Jesus said, feed my sheep. And my observation of this is that here Peter just denied him. Jesus already came and visited these guys and he's visiting them again. And now he's having this intimate conversation with Peter and he's saying, hey, do you love me? Because I already am proving to you that I love you. You know what? I love you so much that I love you to death, literally. Peter, I love you. Do you love me? And he's saying, yeah, I love you, Lord. You know I love you. He says, then go Feed my people, love my people just as I have, just as I'm loving you, Peter, right now after everything that has happened. Because you know what? I'm not holding the past against you. I'm not holding the things that you've been through. I'm not holding the things that you did against you. All I'm asking you to do is if you love me, go and feed my people. And I think the application is huge here because for us, it just means that our past doesn't get, uh, doesn't get held against us. He's not holding the things that we've done before against us. He's saying, I've already proven my love to you. 
by going to the cross and dying for you. I'm just asking you to love me and then go make more disciples. Bring them along. Show them my love. Because there's plenty of room for everyone. So let this get down in your heart today. Let this be an anthem for you that, you know what? God isn't holding my past against me. He loves me so much that he died for me and he just wants to have this awesome relationship with me just like he did with Peter. And I just think this is huge application for us because this is something we can hold on to and have a confidence and assurance of Jesus' love because he's proven it not holding our sins and our past against us. Can I just take a minute and pray for you? Father, I thank you for this word. I thank you for this devotion. I thank you for this study in in the book of John. Lord, and that this application at the end that we can have of you sending us out to go and love people because you've proven your love to us and you're just asking us to do it like you did. Not hold their past against them, Oh man, but just go and love on people. And that's what we want to do. We want to love your people, especially at this time when this crazy time in history that we're in. Love on people. Maybe we have to do it a little bit at a distance, but we can still love. We can share kind words. We can show the love that you have given to us. And I just pray that you would um, allow that to just to grow inside of us day in and day out, that we would continue to dive into your word and that we begin to live it more and more each day. I thank you for it. I thank you for this time together. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I hope that you'll continue in the soap uh, devotional practice and that you'll dive either back into the book of John or go into another book and that you will have a blessed and a great day ahead. God bless you.